Everyone, welcome to the Body Beat Down. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the Body Beat Down here, Michael, on this Tuesday afternoon, early afternoon. Uh, just kind of going over and uh, messing with my new cage, my power cage that I got yesterday and put together, uh, body solid. Uh, go check out the unboxing. You'll see uh, all the greatness unfold there before your very eyes. It's amazing. Let's go over a couple things that uh, I like here. Number one, I like the whole entire rack. So, one thing that you'll notice here is these J-hooks. These J-hooks here are the J-hooks off of my old rack that you see in my 5,000 videos. Uh, they had an adapter for one inch holes and that's what my old rack had. This one has I guess 5 eighths or whatever it is. So I just took the adapter off and voila, I got two sets of J-hooks now. And one thing I will say is the construction of the body solid J hooks, which you can you probably can't see too well because it's kind of dark, but uh, the construction of those is amazing. However, these are amazing too, in that they've held a lot of weight. I've used them a lot, and also not only that, they have this little knob right here that tightens them up against the the rack. That in my opinion is a great feature yeah it probably mars the the paint or whatever it is it's not paint i know what it is my brain just went right now but uh anyway uh i would say that the body solid ones need those uh powder coat that's what it is powder coat and i'm getting old anyway the body solid ones really need the uh the, uh the to have that they keep them nice and tight against the rack whereas these well if the bar wasn't on totally you would see you know they do move side to side uh, but that's not really a big deal and technically i could probably find someone to thread me some holes in there and do a little knob on there so anyway we got that and uh, I just got this thing dialed in uh, from my bench pressing so I have the J hooks set where I need them for my flat bench and no they don't have numbers I wish they did have numbers I did put a little piece of tape here uh, on each side where it needs to be so I mean that's not like a big deal but uh it's perfect it feels pretty much exactly how my other rack felt so uh, and the adjustments for these are I think every two inches maybe uh, yeah about yeah every two inches for these and then as you get down here for the safeties it's every one inch which I love to have those micro adjustments and that's one thing that helped to sell me on this unit was the micro adjustments on the safety option uh, very very good and uh, I found where I need to put this and so I just put a little piece of tape here as well on each side and uh, not a big deal it's not like it looks bad but uh, and one thing I would say is that for the price, uh, with tax, shipping, all that stuff, it's it was $7.95. So, I mean, you might as well say $800. Uh, I do think for $800, they should have included some weight horns, at least one, you know, on each side. I do think that. And they do sell, uh, they do sell them separately, but I do believe that every rack should come with at least one set you know um, 
as luck has it I do have some that I, I took off my Smith machine this morning and tried and uh, I got these so I just have to get longer bolts for these uh, because the bolts that came with them were made for like a 2x2 two two or whatever that rack is I don't know what that rack is but if I get some longer bolts I can actually use uh, some of these so that'll save me some money so uh, again this is gonna help me like right now where I set those safeties is absolutely perfect for me to try my 400 pound bench now it's at that spot it's at that point where you know if my chest is bowed out real good and I'm and I got my chest and all that nice and aired up and bowed out the bar doesn't hit the safeties but as soon as I go the bar will go boop and hit so that's perfect for that but also but kinda iffy when you're doing reps uh, if you're doing reps you're liable to get a little wobbly with the bar sometimes and that just happens so if you get too wobbly it'll kinda it I found out that it touch it kinda touches uh, the safeties but um, that's not a big deal if I'm doing reps it's with a, a weight that I can handle really well so uh, I can always just move the safeties down and not really even worry about them at that point so uh, I haven't even got to use it yet my chest day was yesterday my first chest day of the week but I did that I did it in the morning on my old rack because I thought because I knew that this was all going to be delivered uh, sometime Monday and I wanted to be able to put it together and all that stuff so I went ahead and got my chest workout done and I was supposed to do triceps yesterday as well but I held off on those for too long and by the time I got done putting this together and cleaning up and everything I was spent so I didn't do my triceps yesterday but I did them this morning and uh, still today I've still got to do my legs and deadlifts and uh, so anyway guys uh, so far I believe I'm gonna be really happy with this and uh, I don't know if I have these set up properly for my squats I didn't really do a real test but they're close all I gotta do is if they're not exact move up one more but I think they're gonna be really close where they're at so yeah if you're looking for a plain rack a plain cage I recommend this I recommend you give this one a shot or look at it does have 11 gauge uprights and I don't know what the rest of the steel is but the uprights are 11 gauge and the safety this the pole that goes over the bar the pin that pole is super thick walled I wasn't sure how that was going to be before I got it but once I seen it I was like yeah that's uh, that's amazing so uh, before I before I actually seen it I was thinking well I can always go and get a thicker walled pipe if those don't feel adequate enough but I think those will suffice uh, so it is built like a tank as I've mentioned in the unboxing video it is commercial quality commercial grade uh, and I can see why it's a uh, it's a beast so and it does have attachments it has a high low pull in dip bars and all kind of other stuff you can buy for it but I don't really need all that right now so uh, I'm good where I'm at anyway guys I just thought I'd give you kind of a quick little rundown a quick little update of the rack and uh, I think it's the GP 400 heck I done forgot but uh, body solid and uh, very good quality and uh, something that'll last you a lifetime you'll never have to have another rack so uh, anyway guys I just kind of wanted to touch base with people and let you know I'm kind of getting things set up and pretty excited to use it now I do chest Monday Wednesday and Friday Monday is my heavy day extremely low rep one to maybe five reps uh, Wednesday is my more my dumbbell incline that I do uh, and that's all I do for chest there is just a dumbbell incline and then on Fridays is more of a medium weight uh, to lightweight medium weight uh, to where I do more reps so uh, I will get to use it on Friday at least um, but I'll also maybe get to use it today for legs 
if I decide to try and do some squats. Now, if you keep up on my channel, you know that I have a really bad hip, especially my right one. And uh, luckily, I was able to reach my goal of a 405 pound uh, proper squat, but I also went to 425 and did properly. Uh, but I've since had to kind of hold back. And uh, But I might could do something with this where I can do uh, kind of put the safeties up a little higher and kind of do a pin press or a pin squat, you know, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, kind of give me just a spot to go to. We'll see. We'll kind of mess around with things and experiment. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you tuning in and hope maybe you find something inspiring in my channel and all my videos. Go check out all the videos. I got one million videos or I have almost 3,000. One of the two. So if I inspire you a little bit, guys, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael, your wonderful host with a, an amazing rack. Not many guys can say that, or can they? Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it, and we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it!